y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a what's on my iphone video i did one of these when i got my new phone in 2019 i did a what's on my iphone 11 pro max so i did upgrade and we got the iphone 15 pro max i got the black one because y'all know my aesthetics if you're not new here but if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave we're on the road to 100k so obviously you guys can see this gorgeous phone that i got this is obviously <laughs> nothing new the phone's been out for months now but it's a big deal to me because if you didn't know i did upgrade from this phone i had the <clears throat> iphone 11 pro max and i had it in that little cute pinkish color or whatever so that's why i wasn't too pressed to get a pink phone because i did want the pro max and the pro max doesn't come in that little cute pink color but yeah super cute the obviously the obvious that's different is the action button on the side you can make it do whatever you want whereas this one it's just a silent button but i still only use mine for silence sometimes i'll do like a flashlight or a camera or something and then the other difference is my iphone 11 pro max is a lot heavier than the 15 obviously that's probably like the titanium or something i don't know i'm not a, i'm not a gadget gadget girl so i don't know but yeah here's my phone super cute i love the phones that have the three cameras that's why i always opt for a pro max pro max is just always look better when you're taking pictures that's why everyone used to still have me take their pictures on my 11 pro max when people had the 14 and you know a better version of this phone so here's the phone you guys already know this is the case that i got from amazon it will be linked in my amazon storefront and down in the description box below super cute super edgy to me but still very minimal so yeah i like it it's durable i've i've dropped my phone probably 10 times today and it's been holding up quite well so we're going to get into my lock screen first obviously i can't screen record with my lock screen but my lock screen every time you lock it it'll show a different picture so that's how mine is i think i have about eight or nine pictures on their set so it goes between me and then me and my boyfriend and then i just got you know the standard stuff on mine i got my subscriber count on here i added my subscriber count up here at the top um just so when i look down i can kind of just keep up with it because i do always open the youtube app but when i'm not looking at the app i do like to just have stuff front and center and then i have my airpod usage on there and then i have my business on there um it shows my daily sales so we're gonna get into the phone. I'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb. So I'm gonna go ahead and start screen recording now. One, so when you swipe right, it's gonna be my pictures at the top. I like to kind of have a slideshow of pictures going around like memories. And then I have the weather app, the fitness little app, and then my subscriber count from YouTube. We'll get into that. And then the battery percentage of all of my devices, screen time, verse of the day, and then my Snapchat code. You can scan it if you want. I just usually promote stuff on Snapchat. And I'm not wearing my glasses for this video. So if I kind of stumble amongst my words and be like this, that's why. Because girl, I can't see. All right. So my home screen is something that I downloaded from either Color Widget or just the regular widget app itself. Um, they have so many different themes. Y'all know my hair brand HB Beauty Collection. Okay, period is brown like that's my main colors so i just love everything brown so i decided to make my phone theme brown um the one that i got at the top i used to just have my calendar at the top where this rectangle was at but now it has the calendar minimized my recent the song that i was just listening to um 66 battery life when the sun is going to set and rise and then my steps of the day so like i said this came with 52 apps that you can download for like my theme that i decided to get i didn't customize 52 apps i did these apps that y'all see right here and that's it so i just put youtube facebook tiktok instagram app store photos calculator and mail those are the things that i click for the most as well as settings the phone then you know the stuff that comes on the phone i just switch to apps and then my widget smith for my countdown you can make your little widget to be whatever you want um, I decided to kind of make it match the theme and I'm doing a two week ab challenge and I decided to put my countdown right there so I can really see how many days I got left. And then also my battery percentage is right there as well. So we're going to swipe over. Before y'all say it, I'm a folders girly. I don't care to have anything else organized but my home screen. Like 
cute i should say but i do put everything in a folder because i have a lot of apps i'm not gonna lie do i use every single app no but every time i delete something i end up needing it like a week later so we're just gonna keep it on here i got 256 gigabytes so we're good and then i got one terabyte of icloud storage space so starting off with my youtube folder the stuff that's left the stuff that's self-explanatory i'm not really going to go that deep into um details but i got youtube studio youtube studio is what every youtuber should have it's how i literally check analytics see how much money i'm making see what y'all like what y'all don't like i can search stuff just all things youtube you need that everybody know what the youtube app is obviously because y'all watching me the youtube tracker app is an app that i um used to really love now i don't really care for it anymore because obviously the ads like these ads are crazy after the ads it's just i used to get on this app for one specific thing and they took it away but this is a cool app to kind of see how you've been doing different months of the year so it shows february january and all of that so for january i gained 1300 subscribers so that's really good the year of 2023 i only gained 2818 subscribers so for this month i'm already basically more than halfway you know i'm halfway there what i did last year in a whole year i wasn't consistent i'm more consistent now but i already got 1400 subscribers for this year so i like to look at it for stuff like that to compare my previous years to really make me go a little bit harder um as well as let me see i think they took it off you can also buy their packages to generate different templates and stuff for youtube and instagram and stuff so right here you can see 21 22 and 23 um the year of 2020 i actually gained 13,000 subscribers that's where a lot of y'all came from so in 2021 i gained 6,000. it just i just like to use it to really see how far i've come i've been on youtube for 12 years i started in um 2011 i believe so it, it just gives you your whole rundown i wasn't consistent until 2022 so i like that app specifically just to kind of look back on stuff um this subscriber thing is for the internet cap cut everybody know what that is ltk creator and ltk ltk is basically um an affiliate marketing app i guess you can say um you can post your favorite basically it's like an amazon storefront but for everything that you purchase is what ltk is so if you want to follow my ltk my name is just akira janae i'm trying to get more consistent with that and um posting a lot more so i follow a few people mine i literally got 20 followers it's just akira janae and i'm going to post all of my hauls and stuff there to get commission subscribe count so what everybody should have it just shows how much subscribers you have if you just want that clean background of the subscribers i got 31,700 months at 32k vid iq is um my app that i just got about like a month or so ago um it's just something that can give you ideas so clicking right here on daily ideas it shows cooking with me in my apartment part 12 dismiss i don't i'm not doing a video like that closet organization and declutter I'll save it because I could do something like that. This one says, let's move to Houston vlog and deep cleaning. <laughs> I do eventually want to move to Dallas, so I am going to save that one. It just kind of gives you trending video titles and just kind of make you understand YouTube um, analytics and metrics a little bit better. So I feel like if you're a brand new YouTuber, you could definitely benefit from this. I just kind of use it just for ideas and I use it specifically for this search engine. So you can like search something. Y'all know I do the living alone daily vlogs or weekly vlogs so this one shows that the competition is a medium competition so i feel like medium and low is a really good thing because it's not really too many people doing it the volume of it is 57 i feel like that's cool the overall score is a 52 out of 100 so i think that's cool then it show you the top channels that are kind of doing that so yeah that's what that is and then fonto fonto is what i use for different fonts um to do my thumbnails milkshake is something that i just recently got when i want to link my dh gate products the fence or whatever um they send me free stuff and i obviously post about them and it's just better to have something like literally in one accord rather than having stuff everywhere so it just gives you a full little website and it's like a clickable link website so i like milkshake and fiverr is something that you can pay anybody to do anything you can pay people to edit your videos you can do 
logos like all kind of stuff i used to use that way back when my social self-explanatory all of my social medias are in here and the one that i want to talk about the most is business suite and fetch business suite is something that i just got a couple months ago you can literally plan out your instagram content like you can schedule out your posts and it automatically uploads for you just something that you can um use every time you go out somewhere just scan your receipt you're gonna get points and you can literally get gift cards so i always tell you why i do this i got a lot of y'all that actually you know signed up and i actually really do appreciate that because you get 250 and i get 250 coins so you can scan my little qr code or you can type it in my referrals it's been a lot of y'all like look at that it's been a lot of y'all girls so i definitely appreciate y'all but it's just stuff that you regular always buy like bread potato chips li literally just anything so i feel like everybody should have this app i got thirty one thousand points obviously as you can see i want to get another amazon gift card so i'm almost at fifty five thousand points and i'm going to get cash out to get a fifty dollar amazon gift card so i can already get up to three dollars up to 25 so yeah i play this app everybody need my business app y'all know i got my own business obviously so i like to use anytime mailbox shopify like these are all common sense stuff but anytime mailbox is what i use for a business address a virtual address that's the actual place because you can't get an llc without having like an actual like address on there you can't use a p.o box basically so yeah that's that alibaba all of these are self-explanatory um google voice i use that for my business zen business how i got my business Doxon is what i use for signing contracts when i got to sign a contract with the brand i always just open it through Doxon and sign that way my smart home is my ring doorbell amazon alexa my kia app i got a um kia k5 so i use the app to do everything with my car and then this is like my security system my irobot my just what i usually like everything about my apartment what i use to pay my light bill with <laughs> you know so that's what that is and then bank bitch is everything that i use for money obviously check my credit score all of my bank accounts and just obviously anything about money is what's in here self-explanatory photos self-explanatory the one i want to touch base on is lens buddy y'all always come to me in my pictures i either take them on my sony camera that i'm recording on now or i will take them through lens buddy lens buddy is something that you can use by yourself and then you can literally set it to take it every we're going to do every second and then you can do every post or like a burst timer so we're just going to do unlimited stops and when you press it it's going to go ahead and take your pictures and it's just going to keep going after every second so i really like that to take my pictures with um the other one that i want to touch base on is really that's it y'all know what canva is i use canva for my thumbnails um face app i don't really use that no more because sometimes i'll be making you look like fake <laughs> so i like to use airbrush airbrush is something that i really like to use because if you have a pimple on your face you can literally touch the pimple and it just magically disappears so i really like airbrush for that google photos i just got put on by watching one of these what's on my iphone videos she said she used google photos because it keeps all of her photos literally if y'all didn't know my phone deleted 10,000 photos out my phone out of this iphone 11 pro max i was pissed i was sad i was crying girl why do i download google photos and all my pictures from 2017 is on here so definitely download google photos if you had that problem um the imaging edge app is what i use for my sony zv1 free prints y'all know you can get free uh 75 pictures for free you just pay for shipping so i need to actually do that tonight my travel self-explanatory i use it for hotels flights airbnbs all of that jazz my work app i'm not gonna get into that that's my job shopping like i said self-explanatory um just got my favorite apps on here apps that i literally don't even really use no more but still got just in case next is going to be lord i got bible project it's something that i like to look at <clears throat> and it really just explains the bible a little bit more so if you're like me and struggle to kind of read the bible i definitely recommend bible project <laughs> the bible everybody should have that one if you believe in god <laughs> and then i don't know how you say the f word philip 
filament my boyfriend got me a bible for christmas two years ago and it came with this app and literally it's it's just so cool like I haven't read my Bible like I'm supposed to, but I'm supposed to read a little bit every day. So then in 365 days, I would have the whole entire Bible done. So I'm still in Genesis right now. I just decided to start from the beginning and then we're just going to read like that. But yeah, it just keeps up with your daily reading. This actually reads to you like it's just a really, really good app for understanding the Bible. Fitness, self-explanatory. My fitness pal I don't really use that anymore. I like to use my net diary to log my food when I'm trying to keep up with my protein intake. Just anything calorie wise, I like to use that and protein wise. Um, yeah, that's really it. Scale up is what I use for my actual scale that I have. And then happy scale is something that I decided to go ahead and use to try to hit my weight gain target. I was 153 pounds like last year and I'm 143 so I lost 10 pounds so I am trying to gain like 10 to 15 more pounds. To gain my 10 pounds back and then additionally gain another 5 to 10 pounds. That's what I use that for. And then food app. I don't really have a lot of food apps because I don't I don't eat out that much. Honestly y'all know I like to cook at home. So I got McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Kroger's, Uber Eats, Sam's Club and then Instant Brands. I have an Instapot for well, um, air fryer and it's the instant brand. So that's what I use that for. Next is medical. Not going to get into that. Next is school. I'm not in school no more. So I deleted a lot of my stuff. But I still like to use Good Notes pages, files, HP Smart Print. That's my printer. And then books. Entertainment. I don't really watch too much stuff on my phone anymore because I got an iPad. But this is the stuff that I have on here for entertainment lifestyle is just the apps that came on the phone i keep my european wax center in here i use the glow app this is what i use instead of flow i like glow better because it's like a big community and stuff like that you can like actually talk to real people and you know not to just share anybody business but you know it's the whole community and i used to actually get on there and look up stuff i started this when i was younger like when i was like in high school so obviously a high schooler like getting on here trying to figure out you know it's just stuff about their body or whatever if i have younger viewers i feel like glow would be good for you because i did start at a younger age and i still just have it so it's literally like groups on here for like all kinds of stuff that like you can just ask advice period talk exercise um faint lines first trimester teen relationships like <laughs> is he cheating or no girl I, sometimes i do get on this when i'm bored and just be nosy in other people's business so yeah i just think it's like a cool app um i got oral b that's what i use to brush my teeth with with my electric brush this one the yuka app or whatever you know i ain't even download all these apps is what you scan a product and then it tells you if it's a good product or not the extra app is just the stuff that comes on the phone. Um, I have games. I got games on my phone. <laughs> I really, really love this hospital game and Tomb Blast. Those are the two games that I literally will play all the time. I don't really play them no more just because I be so busy. But Tomb Blast and Hospital, that's my game. I got one of my coworkers on Tomb Blast and he is like on level 1500 already. And then I just got Gymshark right here because I didn't put it into no actual folder. And then I got my Ring the Doorbell app right here because whenever I see motion at front door, I immediately click on that. And I got iMovie right here and then Pick, Play, Post. I only downloaded that so I can collage two videos together to see my before and my after. And yeah, that's all I got. I don't like a lot of stuff on my phone. Like, yes, I got a lot of apps, but I like all my stuff categorized and then just my front homepage to be really, really cute. So that's all I got. On my phone, nothing too much, nothing too crazy. Um, I know a lot of people still like these apps, but my phone is boring. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. If you have a question about an app maybe that I was talking about and didn't really get into, then you guys can comment down below. But I feel like all the other stuff is, like I said, self-explanatory. I'll show you this one. Let me swipe. I did do this one time to something. Ugh. Now it's SD. Okay, well, we're not about to sign in. All you do is scan a barcode, and then it'll tell you if it's, like, a good product or not. And, yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you lovely soon. Bye, guys.